Hello, it's Sunday school time again. I hope you're all well. Have you been having a nice time working hard at your schoolwork? Oh, oh no. Oh no, it's that pesky parrot, Percy. He wants to know what we're up to. I'm talking to the children. What do you mean, where are they? I know you can't see them, but they can see you. He wants to tell some jokes. Is that all right? <coughs> right. Okay, well, I'm going to put my mask on because I shouldn't be so close to you. You're certainly not in my bubble, not at all. So let me mask up. Whoops. Whoops a daisy. I will hurry up. I will. I will. I can just can't do it one handed. My other hands, I don't know what's happened to it. Okay, Percy. I'm masked up. Are you ready? Yes. Ooh. Go on then. Knock knock. Who's there? Boo-hoo! Why are you crying? <laughs> knock, knock! Who's there? Atch! Atch who? Miss you! <laughs> knock, knock! Who's there? Cows go! Cows go who? No, silly. Cows go moo. <laughs> She's not very really good, is she? One more. Okay, knock, knock. Who's there? <laughs> Spell? Spell who? Okay. W H O. That was a good one, Percy. Right, last one. Knock, knock, knock. Who's there? It's a. It's a who? It's a surprise. <laughs> I don't think. You should go away. Go and pester the dog. <coughs> bye bye, everybody. Oh dear. Do you like surprises? Do you? Today, we're going to hear about some people who were expecting someone God from God, but they were very surprised by the person God sent. And they were so surprised that they didn't really believe it could be him. So Kathy's going to tell you the story today. So listen up and see why they were surprised. See you later. Hello again. In our time today, we're thinking about a time when Jesus preached in his hometown of Nazareth. When Jesus was growing up, remember last time we heard how he was sitting in the temple when he was a little boy and he really enjoyed uh, talking and learning about God. Well, Jesus went to many places when he grew up to tell people about God. After he'd been doing that for a while, he decided to go back to the town of Nazareth. Nazareth was the town where Jesus had grown up. That was the town where his old friends and his teachers lived. People in Nazareth knew of Jesus they knew that he was a preacher and that lots of people there liked him. They were proud of Jesus and they were glad that he was from Nazareth. Maybe he would do a miracle in Nazareth. Jesus was in Nazareth on the Sabbath, the day of worship. Can you guess what Jesus did? Do you think he played football? Or do you think he slept in, had a big lie in? Or he went to the beach? No, he didn't. He did what he did every Sabbath day and that was go to the synagogue to worship. The leaders of the synagogue were so happy to see Jesus 
and they asked him to read his scripture and then preach about it. Jesus stood up, picked up the scroll where the word of God was written in those days, and he unrolled the scroll and read from it. Then he sat down and began to preach. The Jews in the synagogue really liked what Jesus was preaching. They were glad that Jesus was a Jew like them. Some of them even thought that the Jews were better than anybody else. Then Jesus said something that they did not like. He said that God loves everyone. God loves the Jews, but God also loves the people that are not Jews. And God wanted everyone to learn about him. The Jews got very cross when they heard this. They did not want anyone but them to hear about God. Even though Jesus was preaching the truth, the people got very cross with him. They started pushing Jesus and telling them that he had to leave. They followed him and kept pushing him forward until he got to a big cliff. There was nowhere else for Jesus to go. It seemed that everyone was going to push him off the cliff. Then something amazing happened. The Bible said that Jesus just walked right through the crowd and left. How did he do that? How could he just walk right through a crowd that were trying to push him off the cliff? Well, he could do that because Jesus is the son of God and he has the power of God and he can do anything. Jesus was not sorry that, the, that he preached about the things that God wanted him to preach. He was sorry that the people didn't like what he had to say. And he did it anyway, even if people did not like him or what, to ha what he had to say, because he was there and sent by God to tell people and to preach his word. The story that I've just been telling you about can be found if you wanted to have a look at it in Luke chapter 4 verses 14 to 30 in the Bible which is the story of Jesus teaching in the synagogue and when Jesus actually read to do his preaching he was reading from Isaiah chapter 61 verses 1 to 2 which tells of him fulfilling the scriptures by prophesying and teaching about um, God's word if you wanted to have a look. Hi, today you've heard the story about Jesus reading a story, uh, reading from a scroll in the synagogue. So I thought we'll make a scroll. This is a scroll. The scroll's a bit like the books we have at church with words on. And how I made this, I got a piece of paper from the printer and two straws. And I sellotaped one straw to this side and one straw to the other side, like that. Once the sellotape on, with the writing on the inside, oh, yeah, you need to do some writing. Uh, you have to put a good news message and I've put I care about you and God does too. Smile and pass on the news because that's what Jesus was saying. He was telling people he cared about them and he wanted them to pass on the good news. So I wrote that inside and then to make it curl up where the straw is you need to roll it round the straw. And then open it up, turn it upside down, and roll down the other straw. Don't worry if it gets crumpled off, please. I'll make it look fine. Like so, there we go. Then, I could write on the back my good news scroll. Just put a ribbon around it to keep it together. You could give it some bit, or you can open it and read it like Jesus did. Now, that isn't going to take you too long, so I thought we'll make something else as well. And I thought, oh, well, I'll make a church with some people so that you can tell the story yourself with your little people. Well, a church 
a synagogue is like a church. So I'll tell you how I made this. I got an envelope. Any envelope will do. Doesn't matter what colour. And I opened that up to make the roof. And then I stuck a cross on top to make a church. And I drew two windows and coloured them in in lots of different colours. You could just stick paper on if you want. And then I thought I'll make some doors because I wanted to, I wanted to open any doors to welcome people in. And how I made the doors, I got, I cut out the door shape then I folded it in half and then I cut down there and it made my doors, two doors. Then I put some sellotape on the side like hinges and stuck them onto the envelope. Like that. And then I thought I'll make the people. They only made two people. You can make more because there'd have been more people there. But I remembered in the story at the beginning the people were happy listening. But then some got angry and sad. So on the other side I drew sad faces. So if you could make make your people put hair on. And one side smiley face, the other side sad face. Then you can draw some clothes on. And when you're done, you could tell the story that you heard today to somebody else. And when you're finished, you can put them in your envelope and store it away to when you want to read it or do it again. Or let somebody else do it. Well, that's my crafts for today. Hope you like them. Missing you all. Can't wait to be back in church. Bye. Hello again. Did you find out who was surprised and who they were surprised by? Right, it's my turn to do the song today. And it's got very little to do with the actual story, but I think it's lovely and it's really easy. I put the words on a sheet, which you can either print off or maybe we can put it on the screen, but it's really easy. The first verse is walking with Jesus. And the second verse is praying with Jesus. And the words are really, really easy. So I'll play it through for you, and here we go. Walking with Jesus, walking every day, walking all the way, walking with Jesus, walking with Jesus today, walking in the sunshine, walking in the rain. Walking every day, walking all the way, walking in the sunshine, walking in the rain, walking with Jesus today. see if I can find it again and you can see it really loud because I know that you are good singers and I'm sorry about mine let's see if I can oh wrong one 
Hold your breath. Here we go. You ready? Perhaps Percy Paris would like to join us. Good thing. Well, did you enjoy that, Percy? I think he said yes. I hope you enjoyed it too. See you next time. Bye. I'm going to finish with a prayer now, and if you want to make it your prayer, just say Amen at the end. If you want to close your eyes, you can join in that way. Or you can just sit quietly and listen. But if you want to make it yours, say Amen with me at the end. Lord Jesus, it can be difficult sometimes to listen to what people have to say to us. It can also be difficult to tell people about you and about your love for us in case they don't like to hear what we have to say. Help us to be proud of you, to be proud of you loving us and to want to share the good news of your kingdom with other people, just like you taught us to. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen. See you soon.